But first, tonight's big story involves a former police sergeant at the center of a sex scandal, an investigation finding body cam video of him having sex in his office. And that's not all for a cop who's been fired not once, but twice. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live in the Alert Center with what we're learning tonight. Bianca? Mark Rebay, investigators say they found a folder on Anthony Duran's work computer containing sexually explicit images, including body camera footage of him appearing to show him having sex with a woman. Nearly all of the video is extremely X rated and, of course, not appropriate for television. So, a warning some of the still images you're about to see may be a bit graphic. <laughs> Video shows Superior Police Sergeant Anthony Duran switching on his department issued body camera and angling it toward himself. The video shows him wearing his uniform, sitting at his desk, having sex with a woman. A report from the Pinal County Sheriff's Office reveals that video saved in a folder on Duran's desktop titled Fun Time, alongside 36 gigabytes of more pornographic videos, as well as nude photos Duran appeared to take of himself. Investigators also discovering naked pictures of an underage girl in the same folder. The sergeant viewing the images writing in his report, the images and the fact they were intersected with pictures of sexual situations caused me to physically react with shaking hands and upset stomach. PCSO later discovering the images are of Duran's daughter. The Pinal County Attorney's Office not charging Duran with a crime, but the report concluding there is suspicion that some grooming behavior may be present. 12 News learning Duran previously worked for the Pima County Sheriff's Department, which also conducted an internal investigation. In that case, Duran accused of having inappropriate contact with a woman while on duty in his uniform in his patrol car. Duran's peace officer certified Certification, then suspended for six months in July of 2013. And the Superior Police Department confirms to 12 News that it fired Duran in April of this year and is declining to comment any further. We did try tracking down Duran, but have been unable to find him. We're live in the Alert Center tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10. All right, Bianca, thank you.